We've delved into and looked at twins on the channel in different capacities of experiments. Well, today we're going one step further. It's triplets. They're Welsh. They're Wonder Kids. They're at Barry. Yeah, that's about all there is to it. Who will reign supreme? Who will come out with a better career? Let me introduce you to the Watson Brothers. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Reese Watson. There he is, mid journeyed up. Playing for Barry. Harry Watson, also playing for Barry. 19th of the 9th, 2007 is their date of birth. They're 15 years old at this moment in time. And Jamie doesn't look as much like them as the other two, but they're non-identical triplets. I've been said their attributes are identical. As you can see, I've got exactly the same identical attributes. But there's one subtle difference between the players. They're all different heights. We've got Jamie at 172 centimetres, Harry at 181 centimetres, Reese at 190 centimetres. Now I know what you're all saying. Height doesn't matter in the match engine. It's all to do with jumping reach and all that jazz. Well, we've been here before. I think there is certain attributes that improve at a different rate depending on the height of a player. And I will fight you for it. I mean, don't literally fight me because you'd probably win because I'm not a fighter. So, so anyway, so with those differences, I'm expecting slightly ver slightly different variations in their attributes. Also, the way they're playing, whether they're defensive midfielder, attacking midfielder, or just a basic centre midfielder, box to box, all that jazz. The way they're trained, the clubs are at, there's going to be so many variables, they will all improve at different rates. I think it'll be very interesting. So yeah, and, and like I say, they're all exactly the same position. Well, in terms of Barry, in terms of the squad, you've got Ben Blythe, who is the best player who is on loan from Swansea. And then you've got the Watson brothers, the triplets at 75 out of 200, whereas 65 is the next best player. In terms of the tactics, they are playing three in the middle. So I'd like to think that all three players will be playing on a regular basis for Barry. They're all Welsh. Hopefully they'll be capped by Wales very quickly because I don't want them to start going off to England and other nations. I want them to all play for Wales. I want them to try and make Wales a little bit of a powerhouse. Now with Wales, they've got four players that can play in the centre. We've got two up here in the attacking midfield role and two here in the defensive midfield role. So all three brothers can play there and I expect them to in the future. That's if um, Rob Page stays in charge. He may not. He may not. Now, of course, TNS are the overwhelming favourites to win the league as ever. Barry are expected to finish third despite only just being promoted. And in terms of the media's room 11, they're not in there. They're not in there at the moment. But if they stay around, I'm sure they will be. Well, that's about all there is to sort of touch in on here at this early juncture. So let's go through just one year to see if they've, how they've done with Barry, how they've improved and have they moved. So straight off the bat, what do we see here? We see Harry Watson, who's moved to Tottenham. He's just moved to Tottenham on a free because he wouldn't have been worth much at all. He played 31 times for Barry in that first season. Reese also played 31 times. He's now at 98 out of 200. Bear in mind, they started at 75. So 25 attribute points growth there for Harry. 23 for Reese. 20 for Jamie. It's a phenomenal opening season. There's Reese. He's still at Barry, but he's wanted by Chelsea and Man United. Chelsea United and Tottenham want Jamie as well, who has improved the least, but still improved pretty well. He's played. He only played. 25 times though in the season for Barry I'm not sure why that was the case but if we have a quick look at the tactics I mean both Watson brothers are there I'm sure the other one would have been in there I'm almost certain of it we could probably go back and look at the schedule but is there any need probably not so in terms of the attribute differentials then with Harry is he's improved a lot more than Jamie but looking it looks a big disparity judging by this screen if we go and have a look at Reese again, he's improved considerably more. He's only on 100. He's at like five attribute points. It's not a lot. So let's have a look. There's that Reese and Reese and Jamie, as you can see, there's they're they're a bit more evenly matched in terms of the differentials of the attribute growth here. Jumping reaches remain the same the pair of them despite one being really tall and one being quite small i did notice jamie's getting paid considerably less than reese like a third just over a third of his wage which i think is a bit a little bit of kicking the balls to be honest how did the how did they do in the league then well in the first season barry qualified for the conference league despite finishing in the bottom half not sure exactly on the welsh league structure and how it sort of draws to a close but they've got conference league football so Barry got the European Places playoff final and beat Carnarfon 
Hmm. Not too sure on that one, unfortunately. Well, no one's been capped for Wales as yet either. And despite the fact that Harry is the best and he's moved to Spurs, I'm not sure he's going to remain the best for long unless Reese and Jamie follow suit and do leave. If they stay, which to be honest, when they're worth as little as they are and they're wanted by some big clubs, I very much doubt they will stay. It'd be lovely for them to actually all go to the same club. Although Tottenham aren't interested in Reese. So yeah, that's the opening season. Let's jump through to 2025 then and see how they're getting on there. So they have all left. United, Tottenham and Liverpool are the destinations for all of the players. So Jamie Watson, well, he did spend another season at Barry. 39 games he played for them. How do they do this season? Wow, getting second place. Conference League football again. This time probably a bit more automatically through the league. Harry was at Spurs and he's just rotted. He's at 119 though, so he has improved greatly. Jamie at 114. Reese left Barry and went to Manchester United at the start of the season. No, second of the night of 2024. Yes, sorry. He Man United bought him. It looks like a bit, looks like on deadline day. Didn't do anything with him. He's been trained as a little bit of a a, a wing back left. He's now awkward as wing back left, which is a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. But he's up at 122, is Reese. Jamie at 114. We'll just double check the comparison between those two. Yeah. I think the thing is, despite the fact that he, has, he is only eight attribute points better off, I do feel that he's he just looks such a better player. Just improving greatly in, in all the right attributes, isn't he, really? And Reese has been capped by Wales. Two caps. Harry has one cap. Jamie is yet to be capped. They're all now in the Premier League and all improving greatly. Now, I'm not sure they're going to play much at United, Liverpool and Spurs. So hopefully they get some loan moves. Let's go to 2026. And while I do that, you guys could subscribe and help me on my way to 10,000 subscribers. So they are both, they were, all three of them are at the same clubs. Reese has now got eight caps for Wales. 6k he moved from Barry for, and he's he's on nearly 30k per week. He's played 11 times for Manchester United, actually. A lot of them were from the bench, but he has played 11 times for United. 129 is his current ability, just like his brother, Jamie, who has also been capped by Wales twice as well. He's improved up to 129, and he's played once for Liverpool, and that was from the bench. He has played in the cup competitions as well, but it's, it's mainly the league that we're looking at at the moment just the one game unfortunately in terms of the welsh squad rob page is still in charge and the tactics well harry and reese are there in the defensive midfield role it's will he will jamie be able to sneak into the attacking midfield role or one of those two time will tell but the, the man who has taken the lead in terms of ability it's harry watson he's at 133 and he's played seven times for spurs all of them off the bench in the league set at 6.54 not doing great but if we compare, I mean, Reese and Jamie be the good ones to compare because they're the same. But if we compare the two, they're both at 129. And as you can see, it's very, it feels very weighted in terms of Jamie, who's got better attribute points. Like he's better off by two in marking, better at free kick, taking first touch, dribbling, crossing, much better at composure. He's better at bravery, anticipation, off the ball, teamwork, work rate. He's done very well. He's also grown a centimetre to 173. His jumping reach is considerably worse, but he is considerably shorter. And his heading is also worse. So as, as mentioned previously, I feel that certain attributes do improve better with or without height. And jumping reach is one of those ones that improves more when you are a taller player. Which is, you know, natural. You would expect that really, wouldn't you? So there's not nothing groundbreaking and earth shattering about that statement. But it's just, it's just a fact. That, and you can see it here. It's happening right in front of your eyes. There's not much more to delve in on, unfortunately, because they've not really played much. Who's won the Premier League, I hear you ask? It's been Manchester, bloody city, with pep in charge. Soon, the sooner he leaves, the better. He's only won one Champions League, though, so no Champions League wins for them. Maurizio Sarri is in charge because Klopp left. Klopp is now the manager of Napoli, who he joined in 2025. He departed at the end of his contract, which is something that they've coded into the game. He actually won the Europa League as he left in 2024. And he just won Serie A with Napoli as old Jürgen. Any other weird managerial appointments? Is Mikel Arteta still there? Have United still got Ten Hag? Of course they haven't. It's Thomas Tuchel. 
He sacked Ten Hag. Thomas Tuchel, he left Bayern Munich, who have, are managerless. He's just left Bayern Munich to go to United. He's won the Champions League there as well. Napoli won the Champions League. PSG, then Bayern. Wow. Well, we're delving into managers. I know what time it is, and so do you. It's Ralph Hasenhutl, and it's Ralph Watch. He was the manager of Fulham, and he got sacked due to the club's, we say, poor league position. Yes, we shall. And he's been hired as the manager of West Brom. On the 23rd of the 11th, 2025, he's been there nearly a year. Go on, Ralph. So, yeah, we're just going to limp through the next couple of years until hopefully they start to break into the teams. Let's go to 2027 quickly. Wow, look at that. 144, 148 and 135. I don't know why I said it in that order, but I did. Reese has grown to 191 centimetres at the age of 18 to 19. Jamie's grown to 174. And Harry's at 182. Was he always at 182? I can't remember. Harry's the best at 148. He's actually played 35 times for Tottenham. 26 of those were off the bench, unfortunately. But he's in and around the squad, which is good news. Reese at 144 has actually played quite a bit for Man United as well. Again, a hell of a lot from the bench, but he is getting minutes. Jamie at Liverpool. It's not managed to get an extra, get really any chance of any games in the team, which is a shame, really, because if you think about it, he spent an extra season at Barry and he did really well, where he could have gone and rotted in the reserves somewhere, that, like his brothers did. But for some reason, his brothers have kicked on despite the lack of game time. And now there's certainly a gap opening up. If we just compare Harry to Jamie. It doesn't look as bad, does it, as, as as what it is? I mean, it looks a lot more impressive there. But if we compare that to Reese, I mean, I mean, you'd argue it looks borderline the same. And again, Harry looks like he's considerably better than Reese, although Reese is better in the aerial and attacking areas. I mean, I'm not surprised he's better aerially because he is taller. And I suppose that's why it looks a bit more of a larger gap up here because he, he is better in other areas like I'd say Reese is a bit more better attacking how he's a bit more meta, better defensively I know what a hot take that is you can see all this I don't know why I'm waffling so yeah not a lot to report who won the league Man City yet again Carlo Ancelotti is now in charge because Pep left to go to become the manager of PSG and why did he become the manager of PSG? Because Luis Enrique went to Bayern Munich we saw that job was vacant last time out in terms of the premier league well the sad news for everyone on everyone's lips did ralph manage to maintain his job at um west brom the answer is no he's now unemployed disappointing disappointing but there but not disappointing for you ralph fans a double ralph watch right let's go to 2028 and it is fast becoming a two horse race to see who gets the 200 first and unfortunately two of the brothers have made great decisions in their careers one of them has made a bad decision at 166 He's got 27 caps for Wales, one goal, 70 appearances now for Tottenham, 35 last season, all of them starts. He played in the Champions League or Continental competition. Was it the Champions League? I hear you ask. It was. It was the Champions League. He got knocked out by AC Milan. Reese at Man United, he's now up at 163. And he played 32 times. This time, 15 of them were starts, 17 were from the bench, but he's a it's as close to half and half as it can be. Six starts, six off the bench in continental competitions. Two cup games started, one off the bench. 23 starts overall, 24 from the bench. So it's basically 50-50. Whereas the season before, it was like 90-10-ish. 90, 90, in terms of league games, he only started once the previous season. So he's, he's done pretty well. He's broken into the team. And it was it's Massimiliano Allegri who's in charge because Thomas Tuchel left after just a year to go to Newcastle. Well, what happened there then? Why has he gone to Newcastle for the money? Obviously, has Eddie Howe left to go and become the manager of Liverpool? Well, this manager may go round taking a bit of a turn. Sorry, got sacked. I wonder if they were sorry to see him go. Oh, bang! There's your pun. You can leave. You can leave happy or sad. Or you could stick around for the next bad pun. The choice is yours. Liverpool do at least have him on the loan list. That is the saving grace. And he's at, they're only 20. The, the, the reality is, is they are definitely going to get to 200. Almost certainly all three of them. But Harry and Reese. They've got to. Again, as we look here, we can see that Reese at 191 centimetres is better aerially. He's worse at mentally and technically, but he's they're about the same in everything else. So, yeah, there you go. Not a lot in it at all. Oh, but look at that. I mean, look at the technique there. Four attribute point differences. You've got very little in terms of 
J Jamie's better bravery. That's it. Oh dear, look at that. Complete polygon absorption. And I didn't expect this to happen. Liverpool, you've done him dirty. Get him out on loan. He'll catch up and by the time he gets the 200, they'll look like different players, but he will hopefully have kicked on. Still need two caps for Wales. And that's because, well... Reese and Harry are playing in the middle. Why doesn't one of them play up here? Who knows? Who knows? Well, they're all at English clubs. It's 2028. We've got two years. It goes to 2030. I've bottled it. I've come to 2029. James at 145. He's not had a loan move. He's played four times for Liverpool. Not impressed. Not impressed at all. But look at this. Jamie still bottom at 145. But Reese at 184 has actually overtaken Harry. Now, Reese is wanted by Bayern Munich. He played 33 times for United last season. Started every single game. But Harry, Harry, he played. 36 times for Tottenham. Two goals, 11 assists, two player of the matches before a £208 million transfer minimum cost, which is rising to 282 to Manchester City. We see Manchester City in these experiments very often spending big on Jamal Musiala, Ansu Fati. Who else have they done it on? Lamine Yamal, you know, North of £200 million they're spending on these players. And they've just done it here. So if you've got a wonder kid, a regen that's coming through, and you're in 28, 29, something like that, and Man City are coming knocking, you could get £200 million for them if they've got the ability or the potential or both. Of course, you don't know. You won't know unless you've got the editor installed. If you've got the editor installed, you might as well just transfer it for that anyway. So it is what it is. Point is, Man City got the money and they're not afraid to splash it. Anyway, uh, Arsenal won the league and Man City won it in the last two seasons. Not a lot more to look in on, so let's go to 2030. Okay, we've got 195 for Harry and Reese. It's a stalemate. It's literally a one-season shootout, and they're probably both going to get there, to be honest. Harry's first season at Manchester City, how did it go? Well, 34 games, 13 goals, 16 assists, 10 play with the matches. Is that because he's playing... Well, he's playing centre midfield there. Maybe he's been playing where Foden is in some games. You'd think he'd, he'd surely play a bit more advanced to score so many goals. Carlo Ancelotti has just retired from management now. He won the Champions League back here. So PSG have won the Champions League for two out of the last three seasons. Of course they have. Pep's in charge. But they won the Premier League, so he's got a Premier League winner's medal to his name. He's the Players' Player of the Year. He's the Footballer of the Year. Runner-up to Erling Haaland in European Men's Player of the Year. Yeah, he's won. He's won everything. He's won everything else, which I imagine Erling Haaland was sort of competing with again as well. Reese is still wanted by Bayern Munich, but they have not come in for him. And look at that. Don't even think we looked at uh, Harry's poly polygon. Let's let's compare the two at one nine five then. And again, we're seeing slight overlapping and slight absorption of polygons in different sections. They're both phenomenal talents. You can't really pick between them, can you? Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Well, 14 games against for Liverpool this season. Five starts, nine off the bench. So he is starting to play a little bit more. And when he is playing, he's playing well. 7.14. You can't grumble at that. He's played 10 games in cup competitions as well. 11 starts, 17 substitute appearances. He's, he's on the cusp. He's at 150. Let's compare. Wow. Deary me. Deary me indeed. Well, so here we go in 2030. We'll go to 2031. I'm sure these two will both be at 200 by then. They're both at 199, as we've seen in previous experiments. You get to 199, you could potentially get stuck there because going up another attribute would take you over the 200 mark. So it's just sort of caps at 199. Another great season. 15 goals this time. Actually playing a little bit more selfishly. Less assists. And Liverpool won the league. Jamie's got 11 caps, one goal for Wales now, and he played 33 times for Liverpool. 25 of them were from the bench, though. But he's a Premier Division champion. He's also won the FA Cup and Carabao Cup. So he's done really, really well. He's actually got a Premier League trophy to his name, which I think is fantastic. Reese, on the other hand, well, he's just treading water at Manchester United. He's doing very little in terms of progressing his career. He's, he's got all the ability in the world, but he's not winning any trophies. Have they won anything at all? The Europa League in 2030, last season. whoop de do. Runner up to his brother in terms of Welsh Football of the Year. Well, 23 years old, Jamie is on the rampage now. Will he get there? So let's. we're going to jump forward. I'm going to do a huge jump of four years now, even though we've gone one year at a time. We're going to go to 2035. Four years, they'll be 27. They should be in their peak. Jamie, will he have made it to 200 by then? He's at 185. Reese and Harry have both made it to 200. He's at 185, is Jamie. But he's found himself in the Liverpool first team. He has found himself, the season after they won the league, he became 
a first team regular. Harry at Manchester City is still representing and absolutely banging in the goals. Reese for United. He's not playing great, is he? He's not scoring many. He's only scored 33. His brother Harry at Man City, well, he's scored 35 in the last three seasons. Would you look at that? Well, the last five years, we saw Liverpool win the league and then it's been Arsenal, Newcastle, Tottenham and Man City have just clawed it back. Andre Villas-Boas at the wheel. And they won the Champions League last season. Liverpool also won the Champions League this season. So we've got Champions League winners and Premier League winners for Harry and Jamie. Reese, unfortunately, he's not winning really any trophies. Look at that. Europa League, as we saw. And he's won a Carabao Cup. Is that it? Oh, God. Neil Ardley is now in charge of Wales. And they're playing a 4-4-2. So, Jamie doesn't look like he's getting as many games. 21 caps, 2 goals. Reason how you the midfield dynamo. They are 55th in the world, are Wales. No international honours won. Well... 2039, should we do a five-year jump to 2040? I'll be 32 years old. I don't think there's going to be really any moves going on in the meantime. So, yeah, I'd say let's let's go for it. And as predicted, there is no um, difference. No, no difference in club. Jamie at 190. They are starting to decline, but only just. I think he probably topped out at 190, which he's done pretty well, really. He's done very well for Liverpool. Reese at United, still there. And he's started to find his shooting boots in the last five years. He's actually got double figures every season except for one, where he did get double figures in assists. Harry has been getting double figures for the last five years, like 14 for three, three of those seasons. And in terms of the Premier League, well, we've had Arsenal won it twice, Chelsea, Man City again, they did win it. And Everton have won it most recently with Calvin Phillips as their manager. Louis Duholtz has took over as a tycoon in 2036. He's scaling down the funding already, but the funding must have been there because Calvin Phillips has only gone and won himself a Premier League trophy with Everton. He's got some fantastic attributes as a manager as well. 175. In terms of the Champions League, Man City won another one. Inter, Barcelona, PSG and Real Madrid make up the last five years. Got anything in the FA Cup? City of current FA Cup holders Bournemouth have won one so have Liverpool so again United have won a couple of Carabao Cups I mean just imagine that Christmas dinner the Watson brothers have gone home to Mr and Mrs Watson Christmas dinner's cooked they're all sitting around the table and Harry how are you doing at Man City you doing well yeah there's another Champions League medal you've got there yeah 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 it is yeah yeah it is Jamie so you've got one of those Champions League medals as well uh, that Harry's got very good very good put your, put your Europa League medal away Reese. that was years ago no, we're bored of seeing it. What? That's not a Europa League medal. Oh, what is it? Two Carabao Cups? Silence is deafening, Reese. The silence is deafening. Now, the question is, is can Man United do anything before Reese leaves? I'm guessing no. I'm guessing no. Jamie and Harry might duke it out for another couple of trophies, maybe another Champions League. Any of them going to go to... Do you know the sad thing is, is Reese has actually got more caps for Wales. Or a bit more of a national treasure for Wales. 25 goals. I mean, still, he's, he's done very well in his career. It's just Man United just haven't won anything. I think they're going to start to move on. Should we go three years to 35 years old? We'll go to 2043. Let's have a look where they're going to be then. So, Reese left and went to PSG for £23.5 million two seasons ago, where he's won League uh, Uber Eats twice. Thomas Tuchel's in charge. They've not won a Champions League. He's been Barcelona into an AC Milan in the last three years. I wondered, if, I wondered if that had made up for his career if he'd have won a Champions League. Jamie at Liverpool is wanted by Saudi Arabia, and we thought this might happen. He's got double figures this most recent season. He's not really a, a goal scorer, and that'd be known. Harry at Man City is a goal scorer, although he hasn't been. Must have been playing a bit more of a deeper role, filling in where needed. The two hundred eighty-two million pound potential fee did come to fruition. It 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 was it was paid in the end. Jan Schaffer is in charge of Man City. And in the last three years, Man City won the league, then Everton won it again, and then Arsenal won it most recently. Luis Enrique is in charge of Arsenal. Calvin Phillips is still in charge of Everton. It's funny, his actual managerial career started off at Ibar, went to Bordeaux, then Southampton, then Ipswich, and then he's found himself five years ago at Everton, where he's doing really good. Winning Europa Conference League in 2030, he didn't know. Current FA Cup holders, two-time in a row winners, and no more Carabao Cups for United. However, Liverpool have won one here, meaning Jamie can boast a Carabao Cup medal to his parents, over Christmas. 2043, we'll go to 2044. I think these two are going to be in Saudi Arabia. So Harry has gone to Saudi Arabia. He got £1.6 million a week and he decided after the £23 million bid 
when Manchester City was accepted. He's now going to retire, so he's going to be out of here. Reese is wanted by Saudi Arabia. Jamie is still at Liverpool. No one wants him. Arsenal won the league last season. PSG won the league last season. Man City won the Champions League. So he didn't manage to get another Champions League medal. He went to Saudi Arabia for the money, did old Harry. Lee's going to be gone. Uh, one more season in. Just quickly look how they're doing. Jamie did go to Saudi Arabia for £25 million from Liverpool. He's played one season there. He's got one more. He'll retire after that. £1.6 million per week. Reese at PSG. Playing week in, week out. He's, he's, he's slipping. He's now at 168 current ability. He won the league again. Tottenham won the Champions League. Who's in charge of Spurs? Al Calvin Phillips has gone to Spurs now. They're all gone. They're all gone. So it's time to look at the golden ball. Harry Watson with two golden balls. Jamie Watson with one up here. So it's 2-1. 3-1 to Harry. 3-1 to Harry in terms of golden balls. Football of the year. Reese, Harry, Jamie. One apiece. Harry, 2-1 to Harry. 3-1 to Harry. Again, 3-1 to Harry. This time, uh, Jamie got one. So Reese got one as well. So Jake, because Jamie did get one with Liverpool later on in his career. So it's three for Harry again. Player of the year. I mean, is it even worth looking? Reese, Harry, Jamie. There's one each. Harry. The only difference here is Harry didn't get a third. World team of the year. So Reese is already in there in this most recent season. We're going to look at all seasons though. And Harry Watson is alongside Rodri. Is Manchester City central midfield partner. Reese is on the bench. Unfortunately, Jamie is nowhere to be seen. Well, Harry had the best career, didn't he? He won the most trophies. He did the best. Reese had had a lot of caps for Wales, and he was arguably up there as one of the better players. He, him and Harry got there quicker, but he just spent too long at United not winning anything. Jamie started slow came back later with great success with liverpool but there you go then ladies and gentlemen three young welsh wonder kids from barry how did they get on pretty darn well to be perfectly honest i had a lot of fun with this one it was just a little bit of a triplet sort of video because i know you guys do seem to like these ones some of them on the channel have gone down very well in the past so i hope this one does too let me know in the comments any ideas for future ones like this or any other experiment you've got on your mind, I will endeavour to look at it and try and put a good spin on it. Other than that, though, there is nothing more to say than thank you very much for watching. Do take good care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.